Hey, Sherman Raglan, The Real Investor. And so one of the questions we just got asked, by the way, you can ask me questions 24 seven at Ask A Real Investor. That's askarealinvestor.com. And feel free to submit your questions 24 seven. So one of the questions we just got into, Sherman, real estate wholesaler, what's, what's a real estate wholesaler? And a lot of people get confused on this point. In fact, they oftentimes confuse wholesaling with bird dogging. They're two completely entirely different things. Bird dogging is much more like being a real estate agent. And that's the reason why bird dogging is technically illegal in many states unless you have a real estate license. Wholesaling though is completely different because wholesaling is you actually owning real estate. And let me start off by saying that real estate and real estate ownership typically has three phases. There's an acquisition phase, there's an ownership phase, and there's an exit phase. In other words, how do you get out of the deal? And anytime you're talking about an ownership position in real estate, you really wanna think about all three of those things. Too many people only think about the acquisition and they never think about the actual ownership period. And unfortunately, they rarely think about the exit. And that's how they quite frankly wind up getting stuck. What a beautiful piece of rock there. Look at that thing. Wow. Sorry, got distracted. So the reason why they get stuck with bad deals is because they don't spend enough time thinking about that exit phase of the deal. So wholesaling, back to wholesaling. So if there are three phases to real estate, the actual acquisition, the ownership, and the exit, wholesaling is just simply an accelerated, some might even say abbreviated, but you still go through all three of those things. Like take for instance, this beautiful island out here in the middle of the Caribbean, nestled amongst the British Virgin Islands. Let's say that I somehow acquired this island. So I have this island, um, there's no water, there's no sewer right now, but I could own this island, I could invest in getting a water line, a sewer line, like from maybe the neighboring island, and I could like maybe sell huts, or maybe set up a bar, and I could collect rents while I own the island. Now, everybody kind of understands that part of buying real estate or acquiring real estate, uh, owning it and renting it, uh, and then of course, ultimately deciding to sell it, or refinance it, or maybe pass it down to my kids. It's my kids over there. That would be traditional sort of long-term ownership of real estate. But when we're talking about wholesaling, everything is abbreviated. So I could literally say, you know, maybe I'm over here at this restaurant over here on this other island. And somebody says, hey, you wanna buy my island over there? And I'm like, sure, how much? And guy says, okay, I'll take $10 million for it. Um, and I said, well, can, you know, will you offer seller financing? Uh, can I buy it on terms? And the guy says, yeah, I'll consider it. So we write up a contract literally at the bar on the back of a napkin, and I agree to buy the real estate, this piece of real estate, this island, for $10 million. And I say to the guy, hey, is there, before we finalize the contract, is there a boat driver um, who can take me over to the island? He says, yeah, my buddy will run you over to the island. And so I hop on the boat, and as I'm standing on the dock, somebody says to me, hey, you're Sherman Raglan, the real investor. What are you doing down here? And I said, well, see that island over there? I just bought it. And the guy says, you just bought it. I was about to go see the guy inside the restaurant to see if I could buy it. I said, well, what are you willing to pay for it? He says, oh, 12 million. I said, well, tell you what, come on along with me. Let's go take a look at it together. And we come over together and look at the island. And he's like, yeah, I'd buy it for 12 million. I said, well, tell you what, I have it under contract. Why don't I assign you my contract? Why don't I wholesale you the deal? And he says, well, how much? I said, 12 million. So I basically take the contract I signed with the owner who, who, who um, sold it to me you know, Sherman, on the back of a napkin, if it's in writing, if it's in writing, it's a valid real estate contract if it's got the right terms and conditions. Doesn't matter what piece of paper it's on. And I literally take the contract that I'm buying the property for 10 million and I wholesale the deal to somebody else. And if that were to happen, I would never get the chance to put in the water, the sewer, the huts, the bar. I just simply had a very short term interest in the property. That's wholesaling. And that's very different from being a real estate agent. That's very different from being a real estate broker. And it's certainly different from being a bird dog. Because in that context, I actually owned the property. I was what's called a contract purchaser. I had a contract to purchase the real estate and I basically assigned or wholesaled my contract to somebody else. But all three phases of real estate investing are there. I had an acquisition phase, I had an ownership phase, I had an exit phase. Now granted, my ownership phase was only the 15 minutes over on the boat, the 15 minutes back, if that, if you've got a boat like this, 
it's basically two minutes, but the two minutes over, the two minutes back, and maybe the 30 minutes we spent together on the island. And of course, then I write up a contract to my contract purchaser that says, I'm selling you my contract to purchase this island, and I'm selling it to, to you for 12. And at the settlement table, the title company takes both contracts, puts them together, and say, hey, there's a $2 million difference. Sherman, here's your check for $2 million because you had it under contract to buy it for 10, you assigned it to somebody else to, to sell it for 12, for them to buy it at 12, and basically you made the spread. That's wholesaling. And the key to wholesaling is you're taking an ownership stake. Even if the ownership stake is only very, very short, some might even say temporary or abbreviated. But the bottom line is all three parts of the real estate investment are there. There was an acquisition phase, there was an ownership phase, albeit abbreviated, and of course there was an exit phase, me assigning or selling my contract to somebody else. That's what wholesaling is all about. If you'd love to learn more about wholesaling, go ahead and check out our other videos on how to wholesale. I'd also strongly recommend that you go through our training program. We have a 21-day training program called the 21-Day Challenge. The links are below where you can literally learn how to wholesale deals and make quick cash because that's the main reason why people do wholesale properties is to make quick cash. Check out the link below and be a part of the Real Investor family and learn how to do this real estate investing thing the correct way. So as always, Sherman Ragland, The Real Investor, 10-minute real estate. You can ask me questions 24-7 at askarealinvestor.com, askarealinvestor.com. That's where we get our questions for our 10-minute real estate segments. That's where we get our questions for our podcast. That's where we get our questions for a lot of our training, quite frankly, because you got questions, we got answers. Go ahead, check out all the links below and make sure you like, subscribe, and share. And most importantly, be a part of this great community, be a part of The Real Investor's family. Sherman Ragland, The Real Investor, 10 minute real estate where you get your questions answered in 10 minutes or less. Talk soon. Bye.